Leanna Renee Heber, author of The Strangely Beautiful Tale of Miss Percy Parker. So would you like to speak a little bit about your books? Yes, I'd love to, thank you. Um, the Strangely Beautiful series is basically Ghostbusters, but in Victorian England, with a bit of Greek mythology thrown in, a lot of spiritualism, a lot of ghosts, um, an adventure, a prophecy, a love story, and a lot of um, murder and mayhem along the way as it takes place during the time of Jack the Ripper. So what draws you um, to gothic romance? Gothic romance for me is just it's so much fun. It's a wild ride, and you have to give over to that ride. You just have to let yourself go and enjoy the adventure because it's very over the top and it's very dramatic. Um, I come from a theater background, and so the theatricality of the Gothic, and particularly in the Victorian era, um, it was you know high drama, um, both on stage and in their fiction, and some of the, the best fiction, my favorite fiction, uh, personally my favorite fiction, uh, 19th century Gothic novels and the ghost stories and all of these things, they just power my imagination. So you mentioned in your books uh, that you've incorporated all these ghost stories in your writing. What are your favorite uh, London ghost stories that are featured in there? Um, the great thing about uh, London is that it's very, very haunted. When I was thinking about the series and when I traveled to London, I really felt that the city was, well, it was, it's one of my greatest inspirations, the city itself. And uh, living there a bit and studying there, um, I just could feel the city streets were alive with stories, haunted and otherwise, just such a rich um, place for storytelling. And so I didn't need to look any further than London's own streets for the ghosts. I mean, I could make them up, but, but why not pay homage to all the fabulous London ghosts that do exist? But speaking about like uh, homages and all this inspiration that you get from Victorian London, um, in allusion to the characters that you create and that are featured in your books, what's your favorite character? And why? My favorite character that I've written? Yes. Oh my goodness. It's, you know, that's like asking someone to pick their favorite child. Um, because I love them all for such different reasons and, and they each serve such different purposes. Um, I think that my hero and heroine will always be my favorite because Alexi and Percy really are the, the backbone of the series and they're such different people. They're in some ways such polar opposites but yet so perfectly suited for one another and not just in the because they're destined to be together way but because their, their, their qualities and their talents are so completely complementary and what they're able to bring out of one another. I think like any good relationship it's not that you change to be what someone else wants it's that the person that is a right fit for you brings out the best in you that's already there it's not something that has to change and that's what I love about Percy and Alexi together so Dragon Con has been known as the con of epic geekiness where so many different fandoms get to mingle with one another so how do you feel that dark fantasy has been represented here um, I am so thrilled to be a part of the Dark Fantasy track and what I love about Dragon Con and, and I'm committed to uh, Dragon Con's mission of bringing fandoms together. They're very good about keeping up with the trends in, in, in what's happening in the publishing world and in media and in, and in pop culture and in music and they're always uh, creating new panels. It's never the same Thing. It's always dealing with things. We had we had um, some interesting panels on spirituality and angels and demons because there's a lot more of that happening sometimes in, in literature. Um, and, uh, and so that was neat to kind of get a chance to explore further issues in the dark fantasy track in addition to the, the standards of the vampires and the werewolves and all the stuff that we love as well. But dark fantasy is so much more than that. And, uh, and I definitely feel that here at Dragon Con, all the various respective fandoms get a chance to explore every angle goal of the fandom and that is what I love about this convention. It will always keep me coming back as long as they'll have me. So what um what's your favorite part of Dragon Con so far this weekend? My favorite part of Dragon Con this weekend was probably getting a chance to dress up in my Doctor Who costume um, as as Romana, the companion from the Tom Baker years, um, the the only Lady Time Lord, um, when she was in her blonde incarnation. When I got to dress up as her and and have people recognize me and know who I was, which in the grand scheme of things, out anywhere else in the world, people wouldn't understand what I was doing. But I felt so uh, thrilled about that, and I knew that I was with my people uh, when that happened. And I also love talking on panels too. I love talking to readers. I love love talking about the Victorian era and things, so it's, it's a mixture of those two things.
Um, so, you want to talk a bit more about any new or upcoming projects you have? Well, I. I am excited that I'm going to be a part of the Unhallowed Metropolis world. So there's going to be some fiction coming out about this. Uh, it's a it's a game, and Unhallowed Metropolis is the gas mask chic role playing game of neo Victorian horror. I think I got that talking point right. There you um, go. And it's it's really really a wonderful wonderful role playing game, and also my my first novel, The Strangely Beautiful Tale of Miss Percy Parker, has been optioned for a Broadway musical, and so, wow. which has been really amazing. And uh, the team came to me and said, we've been looking for something kind of fantastical. Um, this is very, it's a very dramatic book. I think it would be a great show. And so we have some wonderful talent on board. Some of the talent that's worked uh, on the Tony Award winning musical Memphis also uh, have worked on the very famous show Wicked. They're on board for this. And so we're in the, just in the beginning stages now, but there's been some draft music composed there's, you know, I've seen some sheet music for it, um, and I'm very, very excited. I'm Leanna Renee Heber, author of the Strangely Beautiful series, the Strangely Beautiful Tale of Miss Percy Parker, and the Darkly Luminous Fight for Persephone Parker, both available at sfbc.com, the science fiction book club.